they're doing a bit. Y'all thought that was hate. Ooh. Wait till this here. I just wish she didn't look so pissed. You know what? At least she matched the, oh, yeah. the toenail. Wow, I'm gonna give her a two. Mm, what? Tens. Tens. Like, they're probably watching our review. Maybe. But yeah, they're watching our reviews. Like, you know what? I'm gonna shut these <laughs> up. <laughs> Welcome, if you're entering the bell, this is DS, and this is the time you've been all waiting for our toot or boot Hall of Fame 2023. And of course, the queen is here, all the way from RuPaul's Drag Race and Disney's Hocus Pocus. Ooh. Come on, oh. they're doing a fan. <laughs> yes. Look, we read the tweets. Okay, we're here. We're finally doing it. I've been waiting all year to do this with DS. I'm so ready. After being a RuPaul's Drag Race star, you are now a Disney. Disney star. Am I, am I unofficially a Disney princess, a Disney queen? No, honestly, I look forward to this every year. It's just so much fun. And you know, like I said, it's all in good fun. So don't y'all uh, wrestling stands come for me, okay? And what's this channel called? We've been talking about doing an episode of Ring My Bell. It's Ring the Bell. Oh, Ring the Bell. <laughs> ring the Bell. Yeah. Ring the Bell, bitch. Okay, I reversed. <laughs> There's a lot more looks this year, so let's get right Ooh. into it. Ooh, okay, let's get into it. It's alphabetical, so it always starts with our favorite. Oscar. Yay! Okay. <laughs> How did she go from me thinking she was like this trans ally supporter to I'm going to the PTA? Wait, what is this like blue, royal blue shift dress? This is the Hall of Fame, right? Um, you know what? At least she matched the, oh, yeah. the toenails the to the color of the dress. So I'll give her I'll give her points for that. She's giving me like the edgy mom at the PTA meeting. She looks really pretty though. Like yeah. her face wise, like she looks very fresh. That's a boot. It's a boot. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I have to ask like, this is the Hall of Fame, right? Like it's a boot, I'm sorry. <laughs> I still love you. Next is Bianca Belair. She's giving it to me. I look, look at the leg. Right. Look at the way she's posing that arm, the bun. I love the little stars in the bun because she knows she's a star. And you know I'm a sucker for sequin, clearly. <laughs> look at her. She looks beautiful. She's happy. She's having a great time. And her and her dates is a husband. Or a husband, okay. They're matching. They're both sparkly. They, you know what? They are. I really appreciate a couple that goes that extra step, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a two for me. It's a two for you? Yes. It's a two for me, too. Carmel. I think she looks really cute, actually. Oh, I love the leg. I feel like the trend alert this year is like a high slit, showing off a leg. The Angelina Jolie, like, yes. I do like kind of how she's showing some, like, some boobage, some <laughs> me, you know? <laughs> this isn't giving you AVN? It kind of does, but yeah. I don't mind it because, okay. I don't know, I think it's really sexy she's owning it, you know? Okay, okay. That star pasty, though. <laughs> I love it. The outfit, it's a lot. It's very, like, risque, but she's not letting it wear her. Now that I'm looking at it closely, I like this detail of, like, this, yeah. like, you can zip it up and down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you told me she was going to the AVN Awards, even with the Hall of Fame in the background, I would have really do. Because, I mean, hey, maybe she will wear it for the AVN. <laughs> I personally give it a two. Okay. I think she had a better look. I'll say boot. I'll say boot. I don't Damn. Know. Charlotte Flair. Wow. Now, I don't know if this is because of, oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Go back. Because this is a great photo. The studio photo. The studio photo is like giving it a two. But the candid photo, the Getty image photo is giving me a boot. <laughs> wait, but, wait, but let, let's go back. Okay, I just like the way she's posing, mm -hmm. that like hand and arm. Like, while wow, she is modeling, yeah. she looks really beautiful, stunning. I actually thought it was Paris Hilton at first. Oh, okay. But <laughs> this photo, she wasn't showing the shape. She wasn't accentuating her body. I blame the photographer for yeah. this. This is a huge upgrade mm -hmm. from last year. She was accessorized well. Yeah, it's a little purse. Come on now, bitch. The hair, everything. Everything, I look at... I love it. Modeling from head to toe, yes. Toot! Toot! For me. Next we got... Chelsea Green. Um... Oh! Really? You know what? No, wait, I, I just have to look at it a little <laughs> okay, more. Okay, okay, okay. No, actually, I actually do like it. I love that she's representing her last name. I think it's really pretty. She, she, I think she's wearing like a kind of a corset, bustier type yeah. situation. Sheer fabric around mm -hmm. it. You know, I like it. I think it's really cute. The girls look good. It's a huge step up. They're probably watching our review. Maybe? But yeah, they're Maybe? probably watching our reviews like, you know what? I'm gonna shut these hoes up. <laughs> I was... Gagged when I saw this. She's she really looks she's, so she looks effortlessly just draping around. Yes, her. I yeah. really love it. It's a toot for me. <laughs> it's a toot for me as well. So Mania Weekend has been absolutely crazy, and of course I left my earbuds in the Uber. Ah, but Raycon Everyday Earbuds are the lifesaver because this episode is sponsored by Raycon. So Raycon is a mission to prove that you shouldn't have to pay an arm and leg for quality sound and essential smart tech listening features. It's a no BS product. These wireless earbuds are so expensive lately. Like three months ago, I lost. I left one on the way from bars. Yes, I was drunk. And the money that I had to pay to get just one replace was ridiculous. But thanks to Raycon, you're paying half the price for the same, if not better quality earbuds. And I know these look 
looks really sleek, elegant, and kind of expensive, but it's actually really, really affordable. And I love these so much. First of all, it comes in five different colors where this one matches my pink suit. It really matches the color perfectly. It has three different sound profiles, pure, balanced, bass for different circumstances. Like I use pure sound for listening to podcasts to prep for my interviews, and they've got great noise isolation mode to block out background noise. And these have eight hours of playtime for these everyday earbuds. And you can get your pair too. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash ring the bell to get your 15% off your Raycon purchase only for the Ring the Bell fam. Thank you, Raycon. Next, we got three of them all in the same photo. We got Bailey, EO Sky, and Dakota Kai. Are they going to Comic Con? Because <laughs> no, they, they look so different from each other. Okay. And I can't. I, I can't tell that they're at the same event. Is she wearing a Coca-Cola shirt? What does it say? <laughs> that looks like the Coca-Cola logo. Was she sponsored by them? Just like Bailey, I'm also gonna give it a thumbs down. <laughs> I mean, she already knew herself. She predicted this. You should have taken the jacket off for the photo. Yeah, I would. You know, is there a photo of her without the jacket? Do you know? No. Well then, I'm gonna work with what we got. <laughs> What's going on with the hair? Was she ready to wrestle afterwards? Someone had to wrestle this night. Oh, they did? Okay. But Bailey didn't. So <laughs> she's got no excuse. Well then. Yeah, Bailey, I'm sorry. That's a boot. A boot. <laughs> a boot. <laughs> Sky. She looks really cute. It's giving me very like kind of cosplay. Oh, okay. What is that her persona at all or no, is that like her style? I think she's wearing like kimono inspired okay. dress. I mean I do like it. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. <laughs> let me, let, let's me skip her right now and go okay. to the next bitch. Okay. Cute. You know I think I would have liked the dress with a different shoe. Again, she looks like she's ready to go into combat after this. <laughs> like, she's ready to rip this off and body slam the next bitch. I don't know, I think it's a combination of the dress, the hair, the shoe, it's just not working for me. She has such beautiful hair. I'm kind of surprised that she didn't kind of like play with it a little bit, the pink. Yeah. It's so distinct. Mm -hmm. I, I do like the dress. It's kind of giving me like 70s a bit. Okay. But I feel like oh. she wore like a silver open-toed shoe. Mm. I think the pose isn't working for me either. Boot. I'm sorry. Boot. Yeah. <laughs> The girl in the middle, what's her name again? Eo. I'll give her a two. It was beautiful to see that kind of kimono inspired yeah. dress at there. I agree. And I love like the bows yeah. around her waist, the right. detailing, like the contrast of the colors. The color is really cute. It's cute. I'll give her a soft two. You know, she got to thank the other girls next to her for making her look even better. So of the three, <laughs> she gets the two, okay? Dana Brooke. Oh, I love Dana Brooke. Wait, I think I, I, think I liked her last year too. Did you? I think, I think so. I remember you saying, is she short? <laughs> Dana Brooke. She's short. <laughs> well, in this photo, she looks really short as well. <laughs> She's a short girl, that's okay. Now, why is the top a different fabric from the bottom? At least the bottom of the dress matches the top, so okay. I feel like it should have been more gradient in the yeah, photo. Yeah, like at least if the fabric from the bottom went up a little bit to the top, right. it would have made more sense. It looks like a two different parts. Bitch, I swear I have this dress too. But I do love like the sexy cutouts on the side, the makeup flawless, the hair beautiful. See, I'm telling you, every bitch we've seen so far had f***ing messy bun, top knot, or whatever. Like, Is messy bun a trend? It is now. <laughs> it is in WWE. I love that kind of hairstyle though. You do? Do you specifically People... make it a little messier? Of you course, do? Okay. yeah. It's, it's supposed to look like effortless. Oh. Like literally, you know. But okay. I do like that it's not super, super perfect. Okay. I love the little like swoop. I give it a two. Dana Brooke. I think she looked beautiful too. I'll give it a two too. If you told me this was also for the Avian Awards, I would also agree with True. you. True. <laughs> very that, very that. This is the only photo. Emma. And that's probably why it's the only photo as well. <laughs> she didn't post I don't know who did. Is she but... wearing cat? No, that's the sign behind her. Okay. See, so this is an awful photo. I don't hate it. It's the least like flashy. Looks like a nice funeral but... dress. <laughs> No. She's going to the death of fashion. <laughs> it was fashion's funeral that night. I think she, you know, I don't honestly hate it. I wish we had a better photo to see her. Wait, what is there to see? She's like clearly in some kind of like garage or parking lot, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least have a better backdrop. I feel like would have made the outfit a little better. That's a tiptoe outfit I would wear. To Hall of Fame. But not to Hall of Fame. Yeah. But I do appreciate that she at least painted her toenails and her nails black, the same color. So I'll give her like a shh. A shaboot. It's a boot for me. Okay. Only because I know that Emma, she has some stunning looks. So I don't know how she ended up with this. <laughs> Maybe she forgot if the Hall of Fame was a thing. Bitch, you know what? I'll give it a boot too. Okay, next we've got Lacey. <laughs> oh, this is no one. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Well, first of all, Lacey is clearly giving homage to Marilyn Monroe. Again, I feel like, are we at Comic Con? Are we at Man of Two Sides? Like, what kind of Halloween story? Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, what? Party City is giving spirit. I mean, okay, if you're gonna do Marilyn Monroe inspired look, yes. you gotta elevate it somehow. She should really have leaned into it. I commend the homage, the tribute yeah. to Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. I, I see it. We all see it. Yeah. <laughs> Very we clear. all see it. Very clear. I'm gonna give it a boot. It's a boot. Lita! I swear she's playing with me. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
um, <laughs> I swear she is setting me up. We got so much hate booting her look last year. Whoever styled her needs to be fired. Oh. Lita said, oh, y'all thought that was hate? Wait till this year. I'm gonna give it to you bitches. I don't think I like it. It looks like tablecloth that she got from Amazon and turned it into like a dress, a shower curtain. And also what is up with that like fishnet? I mean, that's her signature, you know Is that. it? She had that signature like fishnet look. Yeah, but not like that. <laughs> not like, but not like this. But she's yeah. serving in the face though. I, mean, she is. I feel good. I look sexy. The, I don't I give a f what DS and come more thing. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this tonight. I hate it. I'm gonna give it a boot. I, it, just, it just feels like it's not it's not doing anything for her. It's, oh my god, zoom in the shoe. What is that? Got the Doc Martens to the <laughs> Hall of Fame. Like, come on, girl. So many polka dots. Yes. And then there's like this rainbow lining. So what was the idea? Yeah, so, it? so what was the inspiration? <laughs> what? Who was your stylist tonight? Now that I'm looking at this, I really appreciate her dress from last year. And that says a lot. Okay. <laughs> like Trish really should have been taking care of her bestie. Damn. Like, what? what kind of friend are you, Trish? <laughs> she's turning heel, so it started all here. Next is Liv Morgan. She also kind of looks like she's going to the Avian Awards. <laughs> but you know, I don't I don't really hate it. I feel like this I could feel like I've seen this on the MCV Movie Wars as well. Mm, okay. Especially in like the late 90s, 2000s. I don't hate it. I think it's kind of fun. This is actually an homage to Pamela Anderson. You know, that makes sense. Mm, yeah. I, it, it would remind me of like Pam Anderson, Lil' Kim. It's also really, see, she matched the shoe. Mm. The toenails are cute. Now I wish mm -hmm. if she had ostrich on her gloves, I just wish she also had ostrich on her hat. You know, just those, oh. it's just to me, it's just those little details. Yeah, it's just two different materials that aren't the same color even as well. That's my only nitpick. I. I think it's cute. I mean, I, I do think it's a little AVNE for so? the Hall of Fame. I actually really like this look. That color I really like, and it looks really good on Liv. It looks really good on Liv, Also, too. like, I mean, you can see everything. You can see on her underwear and everything, but for some reason, it's, it feels more elegant than, like, Dana Brooks. Right, right, right. right. I don't reason. know. Just, I don't know why. I like the homage to Pam Anderson a lot. Right, it's I do really like it. Cute. It's a toot for me. It's a toot. Maris. Okay, Maris always gives it to us. Oh my yes! Even, yes. even the Miz, too. Look at him. She looks stunning. She looks gorgeous. Now, no, look mm -hmm. at the way it's styled yeah the way she's like feeling it oh my god this shoe it's the so heart. cute so cute i love it she's wearing the dress the dress isn't wearing her and then the dress could be really boring but like in the middle part i love it moment mm -hmm. i think it's really cute she never fails never fails it. never fails even miss the miss also gets a two it's so cute power couple yeah. <laughs> it's a two for me two. maxine dupree it kind of reminds me of um Elliot's flamingo look okay. on season 13. Okay. Pull that picture up. It kind of, no, it just looks like, I don't know what that extra nude tool fabric is mm. on the leg. Okay. It just kind of looks, I don't know, I feel like. Like a skin hanging out? Yeah, it just looks like. <laughs> so the dress kind of gives me like mermaid with the scales. Yeah. But the nude part just looks like the fish guts. The fish flesh <laughs> coming out of it. It looks like a silver fish got gutted. <laughs> And this, all the stuff came out on one side. Is that supposed to be like her leg covered? I think I would have liked the dress better without, without that, that tool. Kind of that tool fabric on the mm. side of the leg. But yeah, it looks like she's got like a monster leg or something, right? Doesn't kind of look like. But now that you say that, you see it, right? I do. I'm gonna give it a boot. I can't unsee it now. It's one of those things like I. She's giving was... hybrid animal. <laughs> she's giving cryptid. I was originally gonna say like toot toot, <laughs> but now I can't unsee it. Mm. Boot for me. Mia Yim. Now, is she also following Asuka to the PTA? Um, she actually looks like the principal, so. <laughs> the color matches her hair. Does it? <laughs> I'm gonna give it a boot. It's a boot. Yeah. Love the color, but it's a boot. She's wearing a watch. What was that, Apple Watch? <laughs> oh, no. see. Okay, this is the only photo I have. Bitch, are you kidding me? This is the only picture of Dan Molly Holly. Is that Jillian Hall? No, <laughs> Lillian Garcia. Oh, <laughs> Wait, that's what, I meant. that's what I meant to say, Lillian Garcia, yeah, yeah. that's what I meant. You can't really see anything, but... You can. Um, she looks gorgeous. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know what? I can yeah. only comment on what I can see. I think she looks cute. Yeah. Um, she looks happy. <laughs> uh, no, I mean that in like I mean that in like the best way possible. Right. She looks happy, like she's having fun. It, it looks like Lillian is showing her a meme or something. <laughs> hey girl, look at this TikTok. From the neck up, I mm -hmm. think she looks really pretty. I love, I've always loved... Molly Holly with short hair. I wanted to bring this up because um, I ran into her at WrestleCon. I heard. Yeah, so she was not supposed to be there and nobody like paid her appearance fee or anything. Wait, like she was not supposed to be at Hall of Fame or? She was not supposed to be at the WrestleCon. Okay, the convention. WrestleCon, okay. But she was there just to raise money for Connor's cure, the cancer yes. research. Yes. And she was like, yeah, I took a day off from WWE today just to raise money. And I'm like, that is so oh sweet. my She's God. I love Molly Holly. She's the queen for the people. Like, can we? Does she have a link to it that we can add or something? Uh, yeah, I will put that link in the description, which is like, uh, uh, so such an angel, literal angel. Next is Natty. 
Oh, she looks cute. Well, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. Because, okay, the fabric is giving me chocolate nougat. Are those roses on her? Yeah. Chocolate roses, okay. <laughs> She's giving me Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I think she looks delicious. Chocolate fondue. She, yes, yes. You know what? She is giving me chocolate fondue. She's giving me Giardelli. <laughs> She's glistening. She's glistening. I also give it to Natty. For wearing color we haven't seen yet on the Hall yeah. of Fame today. Brown. Mm -hmm. I do love brown. Just that brown reminds me <laughs> of oh, some dog poop. Um, what? Piece of dog poop. I'm still gonna give her a two. It's a two for me. I it's did like it. I did like this look. She yes. looks delicious. She looks delicious. I, Decadence. I don't know what's that. Yeah. Nikki Cross. She, once again, <laughs> is f***ing with us. Um, <laughs> last year, I think we said she was going to prom. Yeah. This year, She's going to the senior prom, you know? So last year was a junior prom, this is right. senior prom. I don't like it. I just- It's a boot. It's a boot. It's just not doing it for me. Yeah. I feel like, right? Like compared to everyone yeah. else, like where, where, where are the accessories? Yeah. No earrings, no necklace, no ring, no nothing. Now, Rhea Ripley with the Judgment Day boys. Now, are they also going to a funeral tonight? I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, I actually don't mind it. I think Rhea is kind of giving you like goth glam. I think she looks hot. I do like the high slit. She's showing some leg. I like the shoe. I just wish she didn't look so pissed. <laughs> She's just badass. But I will, this is a huge improvement from last year. Oh, and yes. the year prior. Yes. So I'm very proud. No, I'm place. really, this is probably the most improved look. Yes. Of all. And I think she looked really elegant. Elegant while looking badass. No, she's, I think it's it's giving me very goth glam. Yeah. I, I, I should give it a two. I'm gonna yeah. give it a two. I will, I will say though, her foundation's a little too yellow. <laughs> And then they could have brought down the neck or, you know, fixed the shade of it. But other than that, that's all I want to say. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm just going to stop right there. Next, we got Scarlet. Ooh. Damn, she looks... Ooh, these are good pictures of her. Kind of candid, but, like, also posed. Like, she looks... I think she looks really good. Yeah. You know, she thought she was Paris Hilton, too, in the other photo. <laughs> I actually really like the dress on her. I think it's draped very nicely. Yeah. Um, I, kinda, I like that kind of corset bustier. Yeah. I love it. It's, it's a two. It's just... It's a two. It's, yeah. I think it's a safe toot for me. Simple but sexy and elegant yeah. all at the same time, you know? Right. It's not doing too much, not doing too little. Mm -hmm. She looks beautiful. She fe I can tell she feels beautiful in yeah. that. Charmel. Is that Charmel and Booker T? Yeah. And Ric Flair? <laughs> My God, we are old. <laughs> I think she looks cute. Uh, I like the fabric print. It's very similar um, from the last year's dress. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're right. Probably from but, the same store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She liked this so much, she went back, you know. But I think she looks really cute. Yeah. She, I love her smile, she looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I give it a two. I give it a two. It's a toot. It's a toot. Next, we've got Shayna Baszler. I remember her from last year. I gave that a boot. She looks like she's about to pop out of this iPad. <laughs> Me up if I say the wrong thing. <laughs> you know, I don't hate it this year. It's an improvement. It's a huge improvement. Yeah. I like her makeup a lot. Mm -hmm. That like kind of silvery, smoky eye. I love a good, I love a good smoky eye. Wait, you know what I just realized? What? So Shayna is roommates with Dakota Kai. Roommates, okay. <laughs> not, nothing's publicly confirmed. <laughs> nothing's publicly confirmed. This is what we all see. Oh, this is, our, my, this is my roommate. But now I kind of see what was going on with Ooh, the silver. Wait. Wait. Uh, is this uh, an unofficial, uh, like, now are they dropping hints for us? Now it kind of makes sense why that gray come from. Wow, I'm gonna give her a two. Compared to last year, it's oh. much better. Yeah. It's cohesive. Yeah. I don't hate it. I like that she's showing like a masculine. Yeah look on the carpet. I love it. It's a toot. It's a toot. I, love I really like it. Too. Improvement. Huge improvement. Yeah, I love it. Shotzi. Shotzi? What is going on <laughs> by the thigh? <laughs> oh. What's that? Is that part? <laughs> Girl, I thought that was like her skin. And if it was her skin, I didn't want to comment on it. I didn't know. Oh, anyway. I didn't even look at that. Now I know it's just the fabric of the, okay. the mesh fabric on the uh -huh. dress right enough. Okay, well, I'm just gonna ignore that. I don't hate it, honestly. I, I really don't. Are we at Comic-Con? Okay. No, I feel like she's giving me like a like a female joke or cosplay. <laughs> I actually really like I it. I don't hate it. I actually really like, now I just wish mm -hmm. like the bejewel top kind of was more like the sheer mesh on the bottom. Um, I can't tell if that's all part of the same dress or are they separate, uh, you know? Yeah. I like the how she matched like the mesh glove. Mm. Ooh, I love a mesh glove. I like it. I, I do. Like the high slit, she's showing off the leg. I love yeah. the tats. The leg with all the tats looks so cute. Mm -hmm. I think it's a toot for me. It's a toot. It's a toot. It also works for the Avian Awards. Uh. <laughs> Sonia Deville. I swear to God, all these girls are shopping at the same fabric store. <laughs> she also looks like uh, Bianca Belair's husband's fabric, the other girl's fabric. So this is her fiance. Oh, we got we got family up in here. I thought they were the new Bella twins. Bitch, which one's Brie? Which one's Bella? <laughs> no, honestly, they are giving me yeah. Bella twins. Yeah. Wait, they're a couple. They're, they're married. Couple. Fiance. Engaged? Fiance. Yeah. I think that's awesome. Are they are they openly? Yes. Like, they're open. In they're the, very open. I love 
won a couple matches, like The Miz and um, Maurice or Bianca yeah. Belair and her husband. It's definitely telling of who's the butch one, who's <laughs> the lipstick in the relationship. No, I think they look really fantastic. I think mm. they look beautiful. Um, I'm gonna give it a two. I think it's cute. Yeah, I love that she's playing with the suit a little bit. Last mm. year, I did not like what she wore. Why don't you remember what she wore last year? She was like, one side was full suit and the other side Oh, was yes! I, remember, I, gave that a whole, I gave that a hard boot. There's no way YSL made this. <laughs> I'm just so confused. Yes. This looks beautiful. She does look really beautiful. Yeah. It's a two for It's me. a two. I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah. Wow, I feel like the ratio of two yeah. and boots is, is way different this year. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of toots this year. Mm -hmm. Next is the Hall of Fame. Wait! Oh my gosh, Keebler. she looks so cute! Yes. I thought we were the same thing, <laughs> bitch. We're in the same outfit, basically. I think she looks really beautiful. Yeah. Like, she knows she's the shit. Mm -hmm. She knows she looks good. Yeah. She said, I'm being honored in the Hall of Fame. I'm gonna show these bitches how it's done. Everyone, standing ovation. This is a star right here. Yeah. Like, you can tell. Like, she looks like a trophy. Yeah. I think she looks really beautiful. What Tens. Tens. Like, seriously, she looks gorgeous. Beautiful. And she, Stunning. she's got legs. Play the theme song. <laughs> she's got legs. She had legs. She knew how to use them. The only two moves she knew how to do <laughs> the entire the leg choke in the corner, <laughs> yeah. you know, or the spitting heel kick, yeah. and that was about it. That was basically about it. Oh, I mean, she nailed them. But she nailed it though, yes. It's a two, 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 it's for a two. Me. Yes. Wow, stunning. Stunning. Next, we've got Tori Wilson. That's Tori? Yep. That's cute. You know, I will say, at least we, at least we finally have photos of her. <laughs> Last year, it was just like a, the hotel room selfie. Oh. <laughs> with a bag of chips in the background. <laughs> I like it. I just wish it was probably like, I wish it was a little more fitted. Like, I feel like I've seen this out before oh, yeah. and I've seen it better. You know, okay, no, okay. no, but like, okay, that's what I'm saying. I wish it was like a more fitted to her, more tighter mm. to the body. Yeah, um, she's kind of giving me like Grecian goddess. Yeah, I see the theme toga party, and the shoe also is kind of like that. Ooh, I do. Yeah. yeah, she looks like an Olympian. Was there a steamer on set or something? Like, <sighs> I'll give her a two. She, maybe she wanted to be like Stacy Silver, so she's giving gold. Maybe ah, uh, that's smart. Oh, oh, that makes sense because she inducted her, right? So right. yeah, that makes sense. Although I don't love this hue of gold. <laughs> yeah. I wish it was a little more gold instead of yellow. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's more marigold. I I'll agree. say two. I'll give her two. Trish Stratus. <laughs> okay, I know this your bitch here. I love her too. Wait, there's another photo too. Let me please. Keep Not this her. being the other photo of her. <laughs> well, at least we at least we get to see both sides of the outfit. You know what I will say about Trish? She's always taking chances. <laughs> She's always taking risks. She's always paving the way. I don't think I like it. You know, like one side being like a jacket, mm -hmm. the other side just being a bralette. You know what the hell, <laughs> Trish? It's bold. It's it's. It's definitely out there. Me, I like to play safe. When the design is like very out there, I try to make the color a little more okay. muted. Okay, yeah, yeah. The color is very... You will definitely not miss her. <laughs> yeah. In fact, it looks like she's missing the other side of her outfit. <laughs> yeah, it's not my favorite. I'm gonna give it a boot. Ooh, I don't ever say that. The Trish fans are gonna come for me. It, it's just like, huh? Like, honestly, I bet you if a drag queen wore Trish's outfit, People would live. I feel like, no, honestly, I can, honestly, I can, I can really see a drag queen wearing this. I think it's a boot. Yo, yeah, oh, okay, see, I'm not crazy though. It was a choice. It's it very a much choice. a choice. It's giving like flight attendant. Of what airline? I, <laughs> last one, we got Zelina Vega. Zelina Vega. She's giving a little cosplay look. Who's oh, she cosplaying? <laughs> There's just a lot going on. Yeah. I will say at least all like the rhinestones and the gems are the same color. Mm hmm. The kind of A, B, green, pink combo. Very drag, I've seen that. Honestly, it's giving me drag. Yeah. The last two costumes are giving me drag costumes. <laughs> um, this looks like a reveal into a bodysuit. It's the confidence for me that makes it work. Wait, let me find what this is. Oh, uh, yeah, can you please? Because I'm curious. Oh. oh. What's your name, Ducky? Demon Slayer? I see it. I see where she's going for. Okay. But again, girl, you're at the Hall of Fame. <laughs> This isn't Comic-Con. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we saw a lot of cosplays okay. in this, this Hall of Fame. As like a cosplay, I think it's great. I love it. I, I see the references. It's really cool how she put it all together. For the Hall of Fame, I think it's a boot. I'll give it a toot. Okay. Because compared to like Lacey Evans, who just did literal same dress for Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> that is true. I think she kind this of- much better. Yeah, she- brought that look and kind of like elevated into like a red carpety look. Okay. So for that, I'll give it a two. Especially after seeing the reference photo. I do like it better after seeing yeah. after seeing the reference photo as well, but mm -hmm. I'm still gonna give it a boot. Okay, all right. Now we ended on a boot. <laughs> that is this year's Hall of Fame two and boot. All right, let's start with the top 
two of the year. You know what? My top two of the year automatically is Stacey Keebler. I mean, come on. Come on. She she dressed for the part. She looks stunning head to toe. The makeup, the hair, the dress, the way she's posing. Like, she clearly knows her body. She's clearly the star here. Every All eyes are on her. Not just because... I, I bet you if, like, she wasn't even being inducted, all eyes would still be on her. Yeah. And she looks that damn good. That's my top two. But outside of Stacey, because I think it was, like, way too... <laughs> she was way too good. Outside of Stacey, is there anyone that stands out to you? I'm gonna give it to Marie. Maurice. She, Maurice, yeah. yeah. She knows. She just knows her style. Yeah. Again, knows how to dress herself. She's very elegant. Like it was just a, a black dress, but, right? You know the way she accessorizes it, everything, or the attitude. She's a cut. I think my favorite outside of Stacey Keebler has to be Chelsea Green. I think her looks okay. Yeah. Really sexy. I actually did really like Zelina's look. Oh yeah. Okay. Only because it was so different. Some love for Zelina. And she put some thoughts into this, so I'll say Zelina. Zelina, yeah. okay. All right, our favorite part, though. Top, worst look of the night. The worst look of the night. Drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I mean. I mean, there's, you say it first. There's so many. I think one stands out. Okay. <laughs> just like I how, need you to, I mean, you go first, baby. Just like how Stacy stood out. Who? I need to know what you think. Lita. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my god, bitch. You might as well turn off the comments now. It was like, like, I don't give a f I'm a rock and roll, you know, like, <laughs> this is my attitude. You know, she looks happy, and that's all that's happening. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, Lita looks happy. She was all about going against the flow, or what is it? Going against, against the, the grain. Against, against the grain, mm -hmm. and she did that. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying not to say Lita. Cause we love Lita. Cause we love, we love, love Lita. I love you, Amy. Okay. Yeah. I hope she doesn't block my number. <laughs> She's gonna block me before I even like get a chance. Trend alert! Definitely um, a high slit, showing off leg, mm -hmm. a high top bun, messy bun, top knot, like a lot of the girls were this year. But it looks great, it looks really beautiful. And importantly, overall improvement in quality. Oh, yeah, like I feel yeah. like this is the most toots we've had. Class of 2023, good yeah. job, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Yay! <laughs> All right, so what did you think of this year's Hall of Fame looks? What was your best look and what was your least favorite? And don't come for us, because this is all our personal, very humble opinion. <laughs> exactly. Let us know in the comments. I'm very eager to read what y'all think. <laughs> and Kamora, where can we all find you? You can find me on all social channels at Kamora Hall. And you can find me at DSN on Instagram and ring the bell DS on Twitter. All right, see you next time. Bye. Bye.